That's so good! That is so good! What's up team? Today we're gonna be doing a super cool and super fun experiment. We're gonna be making jumbo size pasta rockets. So let's get to testing. We've done this experiment once before with the Smosh Squad and it turned out to be awesome. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but it was really, really cool. And so I wanted to do it again, but I wanted to do it bigger. And so last time we used these right here, these rigatoni noodles. Uh, and this time we're gonna be using the manicotti noodles. Now, there's actually a kind of like a hang up, right? Because of this shape. And so I'm gonna show you how to mold these in order to look like this flat edge. Now what we're gonna do is once we have our noodles with our nice flat edge, I'm gonna drill a hole in this right here. And then we're gonna take a mixture of potassium iodide and water and we're gonna mix that with our 35% uh, hydrogen peroxide. That's gonna give us a lot of O2 gas, like really quickly. And then as that O2 gas is coming up through this jar, we're gonna place said noodle right there, and the oxygen is gonna go through that noodle, and it's going to aid in the combustion, the, the, uh, the fire that is on top of the noodle, and it's gonna create a little jet. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is prepare the noodles, so let's prepare the noodles. The big problem with this noodle is that you guys can see the edges go at a diagonal. Now the issue with that is I can't really place that over top of our uh, glass jar like so, because the flow of the oxygen just, it won't be the same. We're not really gonna get a good jet. I, I would assume is that it would burn this side first and it would just be a disaster. So had to get this hard noodle to have exact uh, straight edges. So what I found that works really well is we're gonna go ahead and put this noodle in some boiling hot water, and then we're just going to uh, cut the soft noodle, and then we're gonna re-dry it back out in the oven. And we're gonna do three of them, just so that we have enough backup. Make sure to boil the water first, then throw these guys in there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna cut these corners, even though it says don't cut corners right there. Um, we're gonna cut them. So now then what we're gonna do with these is we're going to uh, prop them up like so and put a little dowel rod inside of them and then we're gonna dry them out and then we'll have our perfectly shaped uh, giant pasta Noodles for our giant pasta rocket. So tubular, we're gonna ride the oven, man. Oh, it's gonna be sick, yeah! Now we have our oven preheated to 170 degrees. And then you're just gonna put it in the oven for a nice uh, two minutes and bring it out and make some nice, awesome pasta jet rockets. These noodles are starting to look pretty dry. The noodle's actually contracting. And so it's really difficult to push the wood out of this. Cool. All right, moving on. Here's the second part. We're going to, we're going to um, take this hot glue gun and we're going to attach it right to the top of this. All right, that is some, it's a good looking little piece right there. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the top here. Now we have our pasta rocket, our pasta jet up top here. And we have our hydrogen peroxide down here, our 35% hydrogen peroxide. And this is our catalyst right here, our potassium iodide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it in this nice little neat, cool little staging area that we created. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and plop that right up here. Um, and then I'm gonna drop this in there, pink just a little bit, get it going. And then as that's giving off the oxygen, I'm gonna hold two of these, yellow style. <laughs> and then we're gonna light the top of it like that. And I'm also gonna get this one from a camera guy. Oh yeah, that's good, good angle. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. It smells good. Let's go ahead and drop another little piece in there. Okay, there we go. That's a good amount. Let's go again. Let's go for it. All right, I think we got it. Looks like it's going. Woo! Looks like, all right, let's see if we get... All right, back away, back away. There we go. Okay, 
There's our rocket. All right, so it's being aided right now with the, oh, that's looking good. That's looking really good. Look at that rocket go. Nice. That is a jumbo size pasta jet. Oh, it's starting to burn out the sides a little bit. Looks like it's getting a little out of hand. Uh, the whole thing looks like it wants to catch on fire now. Oh boy. Uh, things are overheating. Now it kind of just looks like a pasta torch. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we have two more noodles. We're gonna do this again, except for I'm gonna double the noodle size so that we're a little farther away from the, the hydrogen peroxide. And I think that way we'll have a drier noodle up top and the equivocal amount of oxygen. So let's, um, we're gonna take this off, we're gonna, we're gonna re, re uh, uh, fabricate it and we're gonna do it one more time. But definitely a success for the first one. I really liked it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. We're gonna put a little bit of potassium iodide all the way down in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Light her up. There we go. Yes, yes, there, yes, yes, yes. That's, that's so good, that is so good. Oh my God, it's working so well. <laughs> Look at that, that is so good. Oh, oh, overflow, overflow. Uh, somebody put the brakes on. Somebody put the brakes on. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. Yes. Keep going, keep going. My engine, you're beautiful. And that's where uh, Tom Cruise says goodbye to Goose. There we go, the jumbo pasta jet was a total success. Success! What we learned is that we had to have more ignition sources. So we needed more lighters to actually get the pasta to catch on fire in combination with the extra oxygen to make this little jet. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you super impressed with the jumbo sized pasta rocket jet? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.